The race to find a new speaker of the House continues. Our next guest knows this all too well how difficult uh, this race is. Uh, joining us now, California Republican. That's crazy enough, almost an oxymoron. And former uh, speaker, Congressman Kevin McCarthy. Congressman, it's good to have you on this morning. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> you are welcome. The, uh, you know uh, about wrangling, about whipping, about all these things. I, the, the, we, he lost 20, talking about uh, Congressman Jim Jordan. He lost 20 the first time. The betting is that he could lose more on this next one because there were certain people that said they'd go once, but maybe not after that. Do you know anything that, that we don't know? What, what are you expecting? Look, it is a difficult job to win. It's even a harder job to govern. And uh, think about for one moment why we are here. Um, voting to keep the government open was the right job to do. Could you imagine what the world would look like right now if we were not paying our troops? Like, uh, we have chaos. Uh, the chaos was created by this um, crazy eights that are led by Gates and every single Democrat. So now they voted to stop one branch of government. We're electing a new speaker. Uh, Jim Jordan is prepared to do that job. I lost about 20 on the first round, too. Uh, coming into the second round, the well, thing I would look at, making sure that vote number goes up. If he can hold his votes and number goes up, I think he can get there. And uh, I believe that's exactly what will happen today. There's three factions. I, I think there's people that wanted uh, Congressman Scalise. They're, they're holding out. There's people still voting for you. And then there's people that uh, are in... Um, districts that Biden won, and I guess they're worried about, you know, as they always are, worried about every two years, worried about getting reelected. So uh, those are three different factions. But I'll point one thing out, uh, former speaker, and that is that I think you got 96 percent. You, if, if Jordan doesn't get to eight, <laughs> if he doesn't get that low, and you, you'd still be like, <laughs> you'd be the person that had the most votes. Is there any chance? that you'd be the default candidate. And they'd say, look, he's still got 96. Maybe we peel up, maybe you leave Gates, and I don't know, who are his hardest dead-enders? Are there three other ones? And you well, got the think, other, what if you got the other four? You could theoretically get back in. Yeah, I mean, there's not very many occupations in the world that you get 96% support and somehow you uh, are thrown out for that. Uh, it, it's unique and it's, Places. But it's also, you've got to think, every single Democrat voted to shut down one, f one branch of government. This is something none of the leadership in the past, they always fought against this, not to do that, to, yeah, yeah. to be able to I, show I, you the continuity of government. Birds got to swim, fish got to yeah. fly. I mean, come yeah. on, they, 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 you're, you're looking back at, uh, I know I've mixed, I like mixing metaphors, hot butter yeah. through a knife. That's um, good. But that, uh, let's talk about what's really going to happen. How about McHenry? So is that, should we do that? Should we make a special exception no. and let him do something for six weeks or, or two months with Look, the Democrats? I, I think you, you give Jim the opportunity. I mean, I went 15 rounds. He's only gone one round. I think he's spent the time talking to a number of people. Let's see what happens as we go here. Uh, you know, after 9-11, how it works is, and why McHenry is there is, I selected McHenry. If something was to happen to the speaker, you select who would be speaker pro tem. But I always believed whoever you were selecting as speaker pro tem would be able to do the job until you elected a new speaker. I mean, you want the continuity of government. Unfortunately, it was the Democrats, again, who went out to the parls at the very beginning and said, this person does not have the power. We want to make sure government can actually work. We kept government open, but uh, unfortunately, Gates and the Crazy Eight decided that was the wrong thing to do. Could you imagine Border Patrol agents, uh, those who are in our military or sitting on those aircraft carriers, have to defend what's happening in the world today, but wondering if they're going to be able to pay their rent or their car payments. This is where we currently are. And I believe that we can get this done, get back on track to be governing for the American people. Kevin, you, you had to deal with leading um, this Congress and trying to figure out how to govern through all of it. Um, what are the backroom deals that are likely to be being cut? We've been reading about stuff about uh, Jim Jordan taking a hard line and trying to d do difficult negotiations. Is there some sort of a way he can lure in some of those voters? Or is there an outreach to the Democrats to convince them to get rid of the rules that would allow one member to call for the speaker to be vacated, the speaker's position to be vacated? 
I don't think the Democrats, they, they like this chaos. They, 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 they voted for that rule, so they apparently like to keep that in. Um, look, each member wants to come in and look, look at the speaker and have an understanding of what they're ever going to do. Are there some members that ask for things just personally for them? They want some office space or right. something else? Like some yeah, stupid... a, lo a, lot of, a lot of them will ask that, but I'll tell you at the end of the day that there's really not places to give away. Um, mm -hmm. What you really have to find if you want a team that can govern is a team that's focused on America first in that place. You know, there's a lot of talk, oh, I gave something away in the process. No, that wasn't the case. The rule package I put forth was the same rule package that we ended up voting on, except instead of five people could move a motion to vacate, we had to go to one. Um, but look what we were able to accomplish. You talk about uh, from H.R. 1, from being able to do the debt ceiling, cutting $2 trillion, doing work requirements, the rescinding for the first time in history the amount of money we were able to do that was already spent. You could achieve a lot if you work together. Right now, I feel we're very broken, and so we've got to find that ability to bring us back. You've got to give Jim the opportunity to do that. And I think people are frustrated in a number of different ways because of these eight. They're expressing that. But I think at the end of the day, if you're able to bring them all back, we could be very strong getting the rest I mean, of the work was, done.